Hello, and welcome to the Business Services Team Web Guide for Fixed Asset Disposal. In this tutorial, we will examine how to undergo the process of retiring a fixed asset, as well as how to correct a disposal record that has been rejected. Prior to disposing of a fixed asset, the asset's number must be known. If this information is not available, first locate the asset through the Asset Inquiry function detailed in the Fixed Asset Inquiry Quick Start Guide. Once an asset's number is known, navigate to Adjustments and Retirements to begin the process for retiring the asset. To locate the asset, click Search and input the tag number in the Tag Number field, then click Accept. Prior to processing the disposal request, attach all supporting documentation. Click on the Attach icon and select Fixed Asset Attachment, then click View Documents. Mac OS users will see a warning indicating that Elevated Trust is not enabled. Disregard this message. In the Attachments menu, click on New, then select Import. Locate the document that will be attached and select it, then click Open. Input the date in the Date field. Click Save. Note that the attachment process is not completed until Save is clicked. To add further documents, repeat this process beginning with the New button. Additional documentation cannot be added to save documents without clicking New again, even though Import is highlighted. Once done, click Close Viewer. Begin the process of retiring this asset by clicking Transactions. Select Disposal from the menu that appears, then click OK. Click Update and input the effective date and the retirement date, which will be a date provided by the disposal schedule set out by the Office for Resource Services. There may be a warning message that appears stating that the GL default fiscal year period does not match the effective date fiscal year period. If this message appears, click OK. Select the appropriate disposal code from the ellipsis. Then tab to the reason code and select the appropriate code from that ellipsis. Tab twice to finalize the entry. A warning message indicating the asset's depreciation date may appear. If this message appears, click OK. Click Release to start the Asset Retirement Approval Workflow. Note that the approval flag will change from E to P once the record is released. In the event a message is received indicating that an asset disposal was rejected, it must be corrected and re-released. On the Adjustments and Retirement screen, click Search and input the tag number as was done with a new retirement. Click Accept to locate the asset to be retired. As with a new record, click on Transactions and select Disposal, then click OK. An error message appears indicating that a disposal record already exists for this asset. Click Return, then click Search and input the tag number in the Asset field. Click Accept. Click Update. The record will become available for editing and any needed changes can be made. Once those changes are completed, click Accept. Note that the approval flag will change from R to E. Click Release to send the corrected asset retirement on for approval. Note that the approval flag will change from E to P once the record is released, just as it did with a new record. The Fixed Asset Disposal function can be explored in greater detail in the Fixed Asset Disposal Quick Start Guide, located on the District website in the Office for Technology and Information Services section. Select the Support tab then click on Munis to reach the full list of available Quick Start Guides, including the Asset Inquiry Quick Start Guide mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. This concludes the Fixed Asset Disposal web tutorial. We hope that it was helpful and informative, and encourage you to contact the Munis Help Desk at munishelp at pasco.k12.fl.us if you have any questions.